We are now going to sort the data in our table. The best way to do this is to highlight the entire table first, including your heading. Then select Table and select Sort. Here we are going to sort according to column 1 because we've got our houses in column 1. If you want to sort according to a different column, you can just change the column number. You also need to tell the computer whether it's alphanumeric or just numeric data that it's working with. So in this case, it's alphanumeric. And I'm going to put it in alphabetical order. So that's ascending. Then select OK. You'll see that your information is now in alphabetical order and that the computer also um, put the correct information next to each one of the houses. That's why it's important to highlight all the information before sorting your table. Next, we're going to look at how to insert some formulas in your table. To do this, I'm first going to add a row at the bottom of my current table. So I'm going to use my command buttons on my table toolbar. I'm going to add another row and I'm going to insert a label called totals. Right, the first step is to move your cursor to where you want to insert your formula or function. And then you're going to use the sum function found on your table toolbar. As soon as you click on that, a formula bar will appear. It's going to say equal sum B4. And here it helps if you have some knowledge of Excel because what the computer is saying that it's going to add everything contained in cell B4. So this will be column A, B, C, row 1, 2, 3, 4. So we're going to have to adjust this function to read that we want to add everything contained in cell B2 to B4. Then you can press enter and the computer will add that column for you. If you hover over the total with your mouse, you'll see the little tooltip that will appear that will show you the function within that particular cell. I'm also going to work out the sum for the total points here. So just click in the correct cell, select sum, and you'll see in this case the computer automatically went and put in the correct cell references, C2, C3, C4. So you can just press enter. Just note that you are able to insert some other functions by clicking on the formula command button. You can click on the drop down and you'll see a variety of other functions and operators that you could insert into your particular cell here. Okay, I'm just going to press enter and there you have the total for the last column as well. We're now going to have a look at how to convert a table to text. So we've got the table but you might want to change this just to normal text and to do that you highlight your entire table then select table, select convert and I'm going to convert my table to text. Right, you can separate the text at tabs or paragraph or semicolon or you could select a different kind of symbol so or character I'm going to use the comma as a separator and then I'm going to select OK. Right so your table will now disappear and it will leave just a list where your information is separated by commas. Right now you can highlight this again and you can convert this back to a table by selecting table, convert and this time we're converting text to table and you're going to tell the computer to separate the text at another kind of symbol, in this case a comma and then I'm going to select OK. Right, there's my information back into table format. Obviously you'll just need to insert a, another row at the top again to insert your headings. 
And that concludes our lesson on OpenOffice Writer, working with data in tables.